Welcome to CP100A Google Cloud Platform Fundamentals. My name is Garth Schulte. Thank you for joining us here at CBT Nuggets, where we're going to learn all about Google's incredible cloud platform. CP100A is the beginning of the road for all Google Cloud Platform training. So if you have little to no experience here in Google's cloud, or you just want to see some of the neat things that it can do, and some of the products and services that it offers, you've come to the right place. It's also worth mentioning that CP100A is a prerequisite to many of Google's role-based courses, which will be coming out here in the near future. Keep an eye on this course. Once that roadmap is available, I'll create a nugget and add it to the end of this course that will highlight that roadmap. You know, you are here with CP100, and here's where you can go. In fact, I can tell you right now, there's a SysOps course, there's a Solution Architects course, a Solution Developers course, as well as a Big Data course, and many more in the pipeline. All right, let's float back down to this nugget. So in this nugget, our goal is to get you up to speed on what CP100 is all about. We'll give you a course description, go over our target audience, and look at the agenda, all the wonderful things we're going to be covering throughout the course. I also want to get the course materials into your hands. So I'll walk you through the registration process, which will give you access to Google's internal course materials, which contain all the presentations and, more importantly, the lab materials that we're going to be working with. All right, with that, I think we're ready to rock. Let's jump in and see what CP100 is all about. So as I mentioned, CP100A is the beginning of your learning journey through the Google Cloud Platform. We're going to be taking a good look at many of the core products and services that the platform offers, and we're going to be doing so through a mix of presentations, demonstrations, and hands-on labs. So we're going to attack those learning sensors from every angle. The target audience for CP100 includes sysops and devops professionals, solution developers, solution architects, business leaders, and I'm even going to venture out on a limb here and add everybody to the list because if you're going to get into Google Cloud Platform, this is where we begin right here. And the reason being, if we look at our agenda, we're going to be taking a nice introductory look at all of the core products and services. So there's something for everyone. In fact, these first three nuggets are a great overview of Google Cloud Platform. In fact, the nugget immediately following this one is introducing the Google Cloud Platform, where we're going to talk about what Google has been up to the past 15 plus years, building an impressive planet-wide infrastructure to support the billions of users across all of their products and services, like web search and Gmail and YouTube and all that good stuff, and see how they've now opened it up to the world through their Google Cloud platform so we can now build at Google speed and Google scale. From there, we're going to get an overview of all of GCP's products and services. So we'll break them down by category. You know, We'll look at our compute options, our storage options, and our big data options. We'll also get some examples of using the Google Cloud platform, which is really helpful uh, to, to see how other people use the platform to build their solutions. So we'll look at some examples from big and small companies. From there, things start to get real. And by real, I mean we're going to be getting our hands and feet wet here in Google's cloud. Each one of these nuggets has a lab associated with it. And these aren't just self-contained labs for that nugget, but these are labs that actually build on each other as we go which is an awesome way of learning because then we can see how these products interact with one another. Just really, really nice stuff. So we'll start here with interacting with the Google Cloud Platform. This is going to get us up to speed on the tools that we'll be using to build on and manage our solutions on the cloud. And we'll also take a look here at getting started with projects. So before you do anything in GCP, you need to create a project. So after you sign up, you'll create a project. And that project is really, just think of it as a billing container. But we'll take a good look at what, uh, what all the things we can do with projects uh, from billing and security and, uh, and some best practices as well. Then we'll really start digging into product specifics. So we'll start here with Google Compute Engine, otherwise known as GCE. We'll see how to spin up virtual machines and create our own private networks. From there, we'll get into Google Container Engine, otherwise known as G. KE. Container Engine is awesome. Containers are awesome. Uh, they've been all the rage lately in IT, and for good reason. They allow us to take our application and all of its dependencies, the environment that it runs on, the software stack that it runs on, and put it in its own little box, right? And, and we're essentially separating it from the host that it runs on. So we break that ball and chain that uh, we're traditionally used to when deploying applications onto machines. And this brings with it a whole ton of upside. It's going to make it easier for us to deploy to port, to scale, just to name a few. The K stands for Kubernetes, because Container Engine is really Docker plus Kubernetes. And they, the, the, uh, the technical description for Container Engine is that it's a cluster management and orchestration system for our Docker containers. So we'll take a good look at how all that stuff works. We'll also look at Google App Engine, otherwise known as GAE. And this is their platform as a service offering that allows us to simply focus on building applications. We don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure. That is fully managed. We code, we deploy, and we're back to coding again. So we can focus on features and focus on our application more and focus less on the environments that they run on. From there, we'll get into the Google Cloud Data Store. Really nice 
document style NoSQL database that we can use for storing highly structured objects. We'll also dig into Google Cloud Storage, otherwise known as GCS, which is our highly durable, highly available, globally accessible object storage up there in the Google Cloud platform. And there's a lot of great use cases and uses for it. It's just a, a fantastic integration point, a fantastic staging area. Uh, you can even treat it as your file system in the cloud. So we'll look at all the wonderful things we can do with GCS. We'll also dig into Google Cloud SQL here, G. SQL, which is your relational MySQL databases running up there, fully managed in the cloud. Finally, we have GBQ, Google BigQuery, and what a fantastic product this is. A fully managed big data analytics platform. We can load up terabyte or even petabyte sized databases and hit them with a SQL-like query language. A much better alternative than managing your own infrastructure because, you know, quite frankly, that takes a quite a bit of manpower to get that up and running and then manage it and pull all that data out and make sense of it. So BigQuery is a great product and we'll take a, a good look at it here in this course. We'll finish the course with a nugget on support and resources. So we'll look at news, events, blogs, forums, groups, and more things to continue your learning journey and keep up to date with all things Google Cloud Platform. Let's finish this nugget by getting you access to the course materials we'll be utilizing throughout the course. So what you'll need is a Google account. If you have a Gmail address or you have a Google Apps domain account, those will work fine. If not, head over to accounts.google.com and create one. From there, head over to myclass.gcptrain.org. That'll take you to this form right here where you can enter your email address, enter the class code 6N3GKH, hit submit, and that will register your account here for all of the internal Google materials here for CP100. From there, there'll be a link after you register that you can click on, or if you ever need to get there again, you can just head over to content.gcptrain.org. So all of our presentations that we'll be working with, lab exercises, and even a command line reference there will be in there. And in fact, why don't I just take you through this process right now? Now, I have, uh, I created a brand new account just for this course here. It was a Gmail account. It's called cp100.nuggets at gmail.com. And that's because all of my personal and business accounts all have been registered long ago with the cloud platform. I've used up my free trials and then some. So that's why I want to go through this from scratch. Uh, just like you may be doing as well. So let's just go ahead and go to myclass.gcptrain.org. All right, once you're here, fill in your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do cp100.nuggets at gmail.com. And I'm going to put in that class code, which uh, which was what again? <laughs> 6N3GKH. There we go. 6N3GKH. Perfect. So now we'll hit submit. And we're registered. So you can click on either one of these links. Obviously, this one's going to be easier to remember, content.gcptrain.org. And this will take you to your own personal Google Cloud Platform training page. So all the courses you're registered for will show up in here. Right now, we're just registered for CP100. So that's what we get. And I should also mention, this is going to be a best practice going forward. Whenever, whenever you're developing or managing here on the cloud, it's a good idea when you're going through the browser to uh, do this in incognito mode. Because if you have multiple Google accounts, then uh, you know it may not choose the right one. So keep that one in mind. But, uh, but I am logged in under the right account here. And if we click on CP100A, Google Cloud Platform Fundamentals, here it is, Google's internal material for the CP100A class. So you can access all this stuff right here through this page. You can also click on PDF Media to download all of this stuff locally. But uh, again, we'll, we'll have a nugget here for each one of these modules. And, uh, and I'm going to be nuggetizing all of the presentations in here, meaning there'll be some things in the nuggets that aren't in these presentations and vice versa. There'll be things inside of the presentations that aren't in the nuggets. So I would certainly, after you watch Nugget, run through to fill in any gaps here uh, by looking at these presentations. And, and with the labs, I would actually advise you try these out on your own first. And if you, uh, you want to see the, uh, the way that I do it, I'm going to walk through these lab step by step so you'll actually see it from start to finish and, and that'll help especially if you come across any issues when doing these labs and the really cool thing about these labs it doesn't matter where you're doing these from you could be doing them from you know mac os from windows from linux wherever because we're actually in the very first lab well i should call this the second lab here the first lab is really going to be registering for a free trial and creating a project and getting started uh, with your account but really the true first lab here we're going to be spinning up a compute engine virtual mean virtual machine and configuring that as our lab instance. So we'll have a nice controlled environment uh, for all future labs going forward. And as, as, again, as I mentioned, these labs build on each other. So make sure that you complete a lab successfully before moving on to the next lab. In this CPT nugget, we took a course introduction to CP100A, Google Cloud Platform Fundamentals. We saw what CP100A is all about, went over the course agenda, and walked through the registration process for getting you access to the course materials. Thank you again for joining me. We're going to have a lot of fun here learning about the Google Cloud Platform fundamentals, and we're now ready to rock. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.